So here we have uh, the RAV4. Look at that trunk space. It's huge. Uh, powered lift tailgate. Uh, it's quite impressive. Piano black plastic. Power tailgate. This is not the best design. For me, it doesn't really look beautiful. But the vehicle is very functional and it's uh, such a bestseller. So I guess they stick with their design. Uh, for t the tech, I think this is a hybrid. You can see how blue it up front here on the logo is blue. I don't see any camera. Whereas uh, for Hyundai, almost their complete lineup, they have uh, cameras up front. This is the best selling use, uh, SUV. Starts at 31,000. It does 40 miles per gallon. So that's more than twice from the forerunner. Again, tech-wise, basic, well laid out uh, interior, functional, but nothing crazy like uh, what you saw from uh, Hyundai. Massive screen. You got some accent stitching right here, soft touch materials. Uh, charging options you got some chargers in there and then here you have the drive mode you have the EV mode trail park hold gear shift lever cup holders oh, these things are getting so complicated now you can't even open more charging options in there USB-C type c that seems to be the new standard space here for your phone your cell phone it's lighted headlight automatic brightness tailgate soft steering wheel beautiful well bolstered seats sunroof led light soft touch with the accent stitching Ample space in the rear. XSE hybrid. Okay. Let's continue. Here we have a prototype. Toyota is going to start building motorhomes. <laughs> this will be cool. Takuzila. Well, I guess this will do very well. Back in the 90s, uh, there were many motorhomes built from uh, on the Toyota chassis. This one is built on the Toyota Tacoma frame. You can see some LED lights there from Rigid. It's got a winch up front. It's got a snorkel. This will be awesome for overlanding. It's locked. Water maybe. Exhaust. Let's take a look inside. Direct access to the cab. It's very spacious inside. It's huge. I would love to see this come into production. Will be awesome you can see the sleeping configuration hello it's very spacious inside hopefully hopefully this goes into production And here we have the TRD Pro Toyota Tundra 39,000. And check this out. It pushes out 19 miles per gallon. That's even better than the Toyota Forerunner. Uh, uh, and see how huge this thing is. See the engine, V6 hybrid engine.
I like the color. It's huge. These stone dress are going to become very popular. If you're getting 19 miles per gallon, you know, there's no reason to go get anything else. It's more than enough. It's really a nice place to be. Huge interior. Panoramic sunroof. And the glass here is down. Can I see that? I'm touching the seat rest, the back rest, the headrest, right there. That's cool. The camera here, there's one other camera there at the top. Oops, looks like it's closed, it's locked. And here we have the venerable Toyota Tacoma V6, a staple of the Toyota lineup. Very, very reliable, light pickup truck. Starting at 28,000. The only sad thing is, I don't think they offer the, a hybrid version or an electrified version of the Tacoma. That would have been also awesome. But you can get the Tundra, which is much bigger in electrified form. So this is a light pickup truck. Great when you have to drive around cities, fit in tight spaces. You can see the size compared to the Tundra right there. And let's see, the Tundra starts at 39,000, whereas this starts at 28,000. So a $10,000 difference. But if I were to choose, I would rather go with the Tundra just because it has the electrified engine. And here we have another Tundra, 39,000. And this one has the twin turbo V6. It's not hybrid. That... I don't think this one has. This is not a hybrid. And we'll just make a quick cut, cut right here.